Well, got a little hurdle to uh, overcome this planting season. Nope, that's not my grain drill. You can see it over there in the, the background. Um, mine tore up and been working on it, trying to get it back fixed. So my neighbor was kind enough to let me use his, which is the same exact model. It's in a little better shape. Um, let me use his to finish up. So very grateful for that. It's in really good shape. Got to put the cylinder on the front up there, but yeah. It's been like two or three days working on that other drill. And finally had to break down and, and call somebody. Um, but anyways, I'm going to head up to plant the wheat now. It's December 12th. This is basically the last couple days you can plant wheat here in our area. So I've got my Dynagro seed. I'm taking the spreader with me. I'm going to put out some 3400 as well as some potash. And I'm about to go drop this trailer off, come back, get the tractor, go ahead and get it done because I'm really, really ready to get it done. Wow, that's starting to actually lean a good bit. Yeah, we we still don't really know what the problem is. Uh, we're thinking that the shaft with the seed cups might be bent. I don't know. I don't recall... I mean, I've never backed up with this thing down, so I, I don't know. We Put it this way, we worked on this thing for about eight or nine hours. We still can't figure it out. We've taken it apart. We've done everything. We've taken all this apart, replaced the bearing, uh, all everything we've done, and nothing. So <clears throat> it stumped us pretty good. Uh, this side works, but that side doesn't. So we've been looking at, you know, this side versus that side. You know, I got the manual and all that, and it's just everything is the same as the other side. There's nothing really different. Um, the only thing we can see is maybe just a slight little arch on this bar here that could be, you know, could have it locked up. But I just don't understand how when it, when it quit on me, I was just out in the field just in the middle of a row. Like, I, I don't know. It's uh, kind of kind of a mystery. We've had several people over here looking at it, and they're stumped as we are. So it's a simple machine. I just don't understand what's going on. If anybody would like to comment on it, uh, please, because we're stumped. Something, we put all this back together, but um, we're thinking it's in here. I don't know. So you, you turn this wheel. Uh, this is supposed to turn. Um, we've looked all through there. All that's good. So this will turn free and you can turn it with a pipe wrench, but it's not that easy. So I don't know, but it's a mess. We've been working on this thing uh, way too much. But luck, I was very lucky to be able to have a neighbor to let me borrow his, his grain drill. Um, stuff's easier when you got good neighbors. I don't have many good neighbors, but we got a good, a good neighbor that would, uh, that's pretty close by. So we're about to go put this weed in. I will show a video of me pouring this in the drill. I haven't seen wheat seed myself in a couple years, so. I'm going to go ahead and take this trailer up to the field. All right, I made it to the field. Got the spreader hooked up, unhooked from the drill. So I'm going to go ahead and put out this uh, potash. Um, uh, I'm putting 100 pounds to the acre. And then I got some 3400 to go along with it. And then the Dynagro seed. Here we go. All right, I got the fertilizer put out, hooked back up to the drill, and time to open a bag of seed. 
really hard to do this one hand, but let's see what I can do. Again, this seed is uh, not a grow Rutledge. Sorry, they won't cooperate with me. Again, this seed's not treated. See what it looks like. Beautiful wheat. That's actually some really good sized wheat kernels in there. Wow. Looks good. Yeah, I haven't seen wheat in a long time. 2017. I guess that must have been the. Yeah, I think that was summer of 17 when I harvested some. It's beautiful. Wish it was treated, but it's all right. All right, I'm gonna put in the rest of it. <laughs> Time to put it in the ground. Here's the seed chart on this uh, John Deere 8300 drill. So we're wheat, um, putting out 100 pounds to the acre. So as you can see, um, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't have 100 on there, but you're somewhere between 98 and 109, you know. So you're between 20, you know, 20, 22, 23. So just because, you know, I don't have any extra seed or anything, instead of 100 pounds, I'm just gonna go with uh, 20 and put it at 98, you know, close enough. Um, you know, it's better to have, you know, maybe go back for an extra pass or two instead of running out of seed early. So I'm gonna set it on 20. 